Good day guys, welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be talking about the design of a real life project. So it's going to be in series. So for part one today, we are going to be talking about the scheming and general arrangement of structural members. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to study the architecture and from the architecture I have the ground floor and this point is the typical floor that is the first floor down to the roof so this is what we are going to use and this is the this is the simple elevation i created the ground floor first floor and to we get to the final level that's the roof okay so i can see my ground floor is 3.9 meters and my roof is 2.5 meters while typical floors are 3 meters okay so according to what the architect wants so this um, AutoCAD file, I'm going to drop it in the description for you to download. Then you can also do your layout in the way you want. So the first thing we are going to do is, I've seen this is the conference room, account office, executive office, workstation, lobby, and storage, and all other many information. So you can see also something similar with the ground floor. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off some... Um, um informations i'm not using like this storage i'm going to turn it off my dimension line i'm turning them off and i'll leave my lift shaft for now so i'll copy my uh, copy the ground and typical floor copy them and post it in another point at this point here okay so i've seen this then i can turn them on for other parts okay so i can see this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place my columns so i'll make sure my columns don't fall where doors are or where windows are or in an open space like i can't just place a column here so i'm going to be obstructing this place what is this place this is a living room sorry a lounge so it, it would not make any sense for there to be a column at this point okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to place my column so i'm assuming the column because it's a very um, tall structure so i'm assuming my initial column size of 230 by 600 so i'm going to model a section of 230 by 600 230 uh, 600 okay so i have this and i can copy okay before copying let me place my middle line so that i can easily get my middle line okay yes yes so i can just copy and rotate the new one i copy copy and rotate okay yeah so we have this so the first thing i want to do now is to place my column so i'm going to place a column at a1 so placing the column at a1 i know if i place it horizontally like this it's going to intersect with the window which the architect would not want so i can see the dimension let me see if it's up to 600 okay no this is almost 550 so what i'll do is i'm going to use this column layout and it's advisable for me to use this column layout because this part is longer than this side so there will be more movement in this part and this the major the major axis is facing that part so it's better for me yes so copy this and paste it so it's also similar with that i don't want to place in grid line b because there will be too much column conjection so the best thing for me to do is just give it a little space because if i check the dimension check the dimension from um, it should be it's probably about 1.4 meters so it's too close and i can leave it at to see that's 2.56 meters so i can copy this column sorry copy and then paste grid line c so you just give it a little space so because of economics but when i design and i know if i notice that these two columns are not sufficient then i can decide to place a column at this point but this is just my initial general arrangement the initial structural scheme so i'm going to place in grid line e grid line f and h but now i can't place in h so i'm going to place it in the other direction so what i'll do is pick the other column this column yes copy um then go to h and place it so let me check the distance from this point to this point from f to uh that is 4.4 and this is 
3.9 so there will be more movement in this direction so that's why i'm placing it that way okay the next thing for me to do now is to place the column i don't want to place in grid line two because it's too congested so i want to try grid line three so what i can do now in grid line three is since i don't have any window close i can make it this way so copy let me copy it from the center point with this control co sorry copy then pick the center point go to grid line three at this point yes then i can also decide to place here but it would not make any sense because the column will protrude in out so what i have to do is just to allow it flush with the wall because the architect doesn't want it to protrude out so pick this copy center point okay then paste here then also what i'll do now is to make sure it aligns and flush with the wall so what i can do now is select this okay copy pick this point and paste here okay so you're almost done with that then i also have a column here and if i place 600 it will intersect with the door we have a doorway it's going to intersect with the door which i do not want so i'm going to allow it flush with this so flush with this select this copy okay then paste it here okay done with that then the last but not the least is this point so i can decide to allow it flush here or go this way so let me check which is longer okay so this versus this that is 4.6 meters and this one that is 3.9 and also this one 5.2 so i'm going to have to place it in this direction because this side is longer so i'm going to place it there that is okay let me pick the middle point copy yeah okay so i'm done with that then the next is for me to place columns in more direction so i'm going to place in number five grid line five also so i'll place in grid line five copy and paste okay then also at this point paste then also at this point i can't paste at this point because there's a window there so what i'll do is just have to come to grid line six and paste except i beg the architect to move his window but i wouldn't want to tamper with that so i'll leave this so the next thing i also do here too is i can decide to paste my column here but i don't want it to come out from this so i'm going to orientate it so copy this then paste here okay or i can delete this colon delete this colon and make it one just a single span beam so let me delete this and move this down here move so bring it down now done with that so the next thing for me to do now is also i can decide to bring this beam towards this side so i can make it just a single span instead of breaking it to move mm. yes okay done with that then the next thing for me now is i can't place in grid line seven because there's a window and i can't place in grid line eight because there's a window but what i can do is in between grid line seven and eight i can place a column here and in between grid line eight and nine i can place a column here okay. so what i'm going to do is just create a simple grid line at that point yes create a simple grid line at that point okay so match property then elongate it Then also on this point, I'll create a new grid line. Then also elongate it. Okay. 
okay so once i'm done with that now i'm going to place my columns there so that's really wall i have copy so this is it seven and this is it okay done with that now i can see i'm going to place a column somewhere here so i get this copy and place my colon somewhere here paste because i can't put it here there's an opening so i'll leave it like that then the next way for me is to make it vertical sorry horizontal so i'm going to select this colon and also this colon copy then paste okay so, done with that then next is for me now to continue placing my columns in various direction i can decide to place my column at this point or at this point so let me place in grid line 8 so copy grid line 8 i place in grid line 8 okay yes then i can decide to place my column in this direction and this direction so what i'll do is um, select my colon yeah so select my colon and place in whatever direction i want so i know there's a window here i can't place a colon there so what i'll do is um select and place a colon probably somewhere around here this will be this will go okay so let me copy this colon copy then paste somewhere around here then also i need a colon somewhere around here okay so i have a colon there then i can decide i can decide to put a colon here okay so copy this and place a column there so place a column somewhere there okay so to reduce this span because this will be acting as a cantilever now then this is this span and this will be a cantilever so what i can do is i can decide to shift this window a little bit and place my column somewhere here okay, so i have this cantilever and this so i'm done with this point then the next thing for me now to do is to place a column somewhere around this point so copy around this point and place a column there then also if you point okay so i'm done with the ground floor placing of my columns for the ground floor now i know at this point there's a staircase so what i'll do is copy the staircase plan from my structure from the architectural just copy this plan and also this plan okay so deselect let me this i'm going to have to deselect the grid lines i selected so to deselect i'm going to hold the shift key and deselect them okay so copy yeah then go to grid line a1 and paste it there so we have something uniform okay and we are done with that so the next thing for me to do is i know that i have my staircase at this point starting here and this is the final landing so what i want to do to make it easy for me is to place a beam here to make it easy for me i can also place i can also land my staircase on the slab but i just want to make it easy for me to put, place a beam so i can make this place void so place a beam here so what i can just do is extend this beam all through so delete and delete this okay so extend select and extend beam join similar with this similar with this then join okay so i'm done with this panel um i would delete this i'm not interested in this i'm not using this delete it delete this also delete the doors so select similar then delete all doors let me deselect this so it doesn't affect this so delete all doors yes let me select this again select similar let me, let me select most doors so i can easily select similar select similar then deselect all doors here and delete okay 
so i'll join this one extend okay yes i'm not using this i'm also going to delete this yes highlight everything and deselect what you need then delete okay so i have this I have this panel delete this one then join since this is just a straight line down i will join it join then also this and join others okay yes done with that so do i need to place a beam here let me check the architecture do i need to place a beam so i won't place a beam at this point because it is open or i can decide since it's a lobby and it doesn't really matter so i can decide to place a beam just to break this panel so i just join let me join it join then also join yes i'm done with this so we're done with this first panel i can decide to join everywhere now since i don't really need the window i'll delete the window once i'm done join then this i'm going to join this let me join it to the end join okay so i'm done with this then also i'm done with this uh and should i join this around this point so it's a lobby it doesn't really matter it's not bedroom so i can join it join you can decide to leave it blank so let me let me leave it blank and let's see let me leave it blank let me leave it doesn't have any structural implication because in most likely in most ways it's going to span this direction because L Y over L X is greater than two, so it's going to span in this direction. So more of the distribution, the runners that will be in this direction. Okay. So and also let me make it instead of making this point a two way, almost like a two way slab. So let me just delete this. Okay. So trim. So these are the things you consider. You consider the economic aspect of it also. So I can decide to join this join i know there's a window yes i'm not placing a column there join also this so since layers change i'll just match property okay as well then this also let's join it to the end sorry join Okay, join that. Then this one I can decide to extend it to this point. Extend. Okay. Okay. And with that. So I think I'm done. One panel, one panel, one panel, one panel, this panel, this panel, this panel, this panel, and this panel. I can remove this door. Let me. Okay. So I will join, delete and join this. Join. And this also join. Okay. So we are definitely done with the ground floor. In the next video, we are going to be talking about the first floor. So thank you for watching today's video. Please, if you have any questions, please make sure you drop in the comment section. Thank you very much.